No one unveiled Fury at an air show, no flashy trailers, no dramatic filters. Just on May 1st, amid the concrete silence of Beale Air Force Base, the newest drone rolled out onto the tarmac. No rush, no roar, no theatrics. Its very appearance made something crystal clear. From now on, the language of air war is different. No more conversations, only instant commands and emotionless execution. This isn't a flying smartphone with propellers, it's an autonomous machine with a turbofan heart. The Williams FJ-44-4M, the same engine typically used in private jets. Only this time, it's doing very different work. Its wingspan 17 feet, its length a little over 20 feet, top speed just under the speed of sound, Mach 0.95. And that's not just fast, that's faster than your radar refresh rate. Service ceiling, over 50,000 feet. And most notably, it can endure up to 9G of force, a dead giveaway that there's no one in the cockpit. But as a, as a concept, we have shown that we can fly 5,000 miles with 2,000 pounds of parts, for instance. Fury is modular, literally. Its components can be assembled in workshops scattered across the country. It doesn't have a home base. It's born wherever there are machine tools and access to the schematics. This isn't just military hardware, it's an industrial virus. Fast to produce, cheaper than a traditional aircraft, and most importantly, ready. Ready to go where no pilot would sign the deployment papers, ready to act without permission, because the permissions are embedded in its code. And so for the United States, we basically need much larger drones that can fly for a longer time. It has no cockpit because in its place is an algorithm that doesn't argue with command and doesn't need oxygen. 